I think what I need to do now is just accept my medical result. I can't change it. Yes, I will have a disadvantage. I just have to be braver. I just need to make no excuses. That's just being real. I, that's just how it is. It's not going to change. Biggie, you need to get off my t-shirt. Okay, sir. What does that mean? It means there's going to be some sad music in this. Because we're going to talk about the bad news I got with my medical results. Yeah. Okay, turn the picture to black and white and then cue the sad music. In. <laughs> this vlog is going to be an update about my health. This week was one of the toughest weeks of my life. Mum probably cried the most. But the good thing about the week from hell, it finished with a skateboarding comp. And we'll show you some footage of the skating comp too. Truthfully speaking, I... I'll... I wasn't even going to tell you, you legends, what was happening with my health. I was just going to pretend that everything was perfect and nothing was wrong with me because I kind of feel a bit embarrassed and a bit ashamed and I just kind of feel like I want to hide it. But then I asked myself, was pretending to be perfect what our YouTube channel was all about? And Biggie said, no, we're not perfect. Mm. Biggie, you are Biggie. That's not what we want for a legend to stand for. That's not what our team's about. Would you guys be proud of us if we pretended we were perfect? Hell no! No one's perfect here! So before I tell you guys about the bad medical results I got, we're going to define what a legend is. In case you're new to the channel, a legend is who we all are when you subscribe to our YouTube team. So we all need to work out the definition of a legend together. Because it represents all of us. And you guys too. Tell us in the comments down below what you think a legend should stand for. Legends, we read every comment. And it means a lot to us what you guys think. This is what we think the definition of a legend is stand for. Being part of the legend family means it's okay to be yourself. We don't have to try to be cool or popular because us legends don't care if you're a popular kid or not. We just care if you have a good heart. A legend doesn't have to be ashamed of any parts of themselves. We accept each other for who we authentically are, flaws and all. Because legends, you know, we have a lot of flaws. <laughs> like us, for example, we all have bits that we need to work on. <sighs> I get way too emotional. I get too jealous. I can be a real grump. Yep. <laughs> but if someone has a good heart and makes a mistake, that's okay. Because all legends are full of mistakes. So that's what we think a legend should stand for. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments down below. Okay, guys, do you mind leaving because I need to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with the legends? Uh, 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 oh. What? Okay. Okay, come on. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Okay, legends, I'm going to be super honest with what the doctors have found wrong with my body last week. And I hope you guys don't judge me and think I'm weird and, and a freak and all that sort of stuff. The first thing I feel like I need to tell you guys so the story makes more sense is what my dreams and goals are. At the moment, I'm training and I'm hoping to represent my country in the Olympics. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! In the 2020 Olympic Games for skateboarding. And I've got some super good news for you guys. I've been picked in the Australian Olympic training squad for the 2020 Olympics for skateboarding, which means I've got a chance of achieving my goal and my dream. <laughs> Basically, my goal at the Olympics would be to beat my dad. He's um, won a bronze medal for swimming. Unfortunately, the thing that scares me the most about my crap medical result, it might mean that I can't skateboard or I'm going to be at a disadvantage compared to my competitors. Like everything might be a bit more harder for me. I'll give you guys a bit of a quick recap about what's been happening so far. It all started when I went to the doctor and I got all my 12 year old immunizations. They weighed and they measured me. When they plotted my height and my weight on the graph, they realized that I wasn't growing. The, the line was flat. I used to be on the 75th percentile. Now I'm not even on the graph. The doctors got a bit worried about me and they called what was happening to me failure to thrive and they sent me to see a specialist and she was a professor and she was 
good. Anyway, the new doctor, after our first meeting, she ordered for me to do a heap of tests. MRIs, brain scans, blood tests, birth hormone testing. There's probably more, but I just can't remember them all. Anyway, there was a lot of tests. We did get some medical test results back this week. The results were not that good. Bad. The first person to um, find out the results was mum. The professor rang her up. I wasn't there, Socky was. So I was in my dad's office at the business and with mama and I was editing a YouTube video and mama's phone rang and she answered it and I could tell they were talking about Sabre and it sounded something was not right. And then mum left the room and mama was gone for about half an hour and she came back into the office. Her eyes were red, she had a tissue. And it's really weird, because I never see mum cry. And to see her cry, I knew something was wrong. And they asked her what, what was the matter. She cuddled me, and I said, what's happened? Every time she tried to tell me what was wrong, she just broke down and cried. And just, it's just like one of those really weird moments when in life, like you don't know what to do. I felt, different I felt and I was just thinking how bad is this so I was eating spaghetti for dinner with my brother and sisters Socky, Biggie and Naz and I could just tell that mum has been crying because her eyes were red and mum she sat down right next to me and she told me about what the professor had said I was just eating my spaghetti one minute and the next minute my mum said all this stuff is wrong with Sabre and I started crying because I love Sabre. The good news is that I've got a very big brain. <laughs> no joke, I seriously have got a big brain. The bad news is that my skull isn't as big. So my brain has been pushed down my spinal canal and my spinal cord goes too far down my spine and there's some, there's some bad side effects. And I guess really, what really, really worried me was that my goal of making the 2020 Olympics for skateboarding might never be able to happen because of something that isn't even in my control. That's really frustrating for me because I like being the one in control and I know that I can fix anything that I've made wrong. But with this, it's my my body that is in control. Like my, that's something that just happened and I can't, I can't fix it and I have to learn to accept it. It was so hard to sleep that night. In the night I started crying and I didn't get to bed to really late. I was about to go to sleep and I heard crying noises. Who is that crying? And I realised it was Sabre's cries and I went over in her bed and gave her a big cuddle. When Biggie came over and he cuddled me, it just makes me feel so much better. When I cuddled her, she felt like she had so many tears on her. I felt really bad and worried because I didn't know how to fix Sabre. So I just kept cuddling her. That's the only thing I could think of what I could do. I was feeling very alone when I was crying and then when Biggie just touched me and he cuddled me, it just made me feel like whatever happens, my family is with me. But after a couple of minutes, she stopped crying. And I thought, um, I don't know what happened after that, I fell asleep. The other thing that made it really hard to sleep was that the, the next day we were doing this really big skateboarding comp at Bondi Beach called the Beast of Bondi. And I really wanted to win it because if you get first or second place in the competition, then you get a wild card into the Bondi Bolorama, which is the biggest skate comp in Australia. And everyone from America comes over, Japan, England, all the big skate places they come over to compete in this competition. I really wanted to qualify and compete in that competition. So the next day at the comp, all I knew was that I needed to get first or second. The next morning, we woke up really early and went to Bondi Beach. So what's happening today? We are going in a comp called the Beast of Bondi. We haven't done a comp in so long. So it's really nerve wracking, but we're really excited to do this. This is my first ever comp I've done in my life. I'm freaking out right now. It's so scary. You be good, Naz. Oh, baby. We all had different things we wanted to achieve in the event. Which place would you be happy if you got? First. I, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen, Biggie. Yeah. Which place would you be happy if you get, Naz? I think I'm gonna come last, but that's okay. I just wanna 
Get in the combat. I'm already happy that I got in here. And I really don't want to beat Sabre. I want her to come first and me to come second. That's the goal. We actually forgot our pads and had to run all the way back to the car. I, got, I wish I, I could got, run faster because I'm not a fast runner. You okay, Nancy? Nancy's tired. Let's race back to you. I'm going to beat you. I'm going to go get our pads on now. I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. By the time Papa was putting my sunscreen on, all the medical tests were just out of my mind and the only thing I was thinking about was getting first or second. Papa's got sunscreen in my eye. Like, it's on my eyelid and it's inside my eyeball. Do it's it. like you're trying to like knead my face. My heat was first and I felt nervous. Are you nervous or scared? Ah, uh, nervous. I feel very nervous. And a little bit excited. But see, it doesn't really matter if I come first. Diggy, there's a trophy. I love trophy, so it does matter if I come first. <laughs> I don't, I don't reckon I'm gonna Drop top Porsche, rolling on my wrist. Diamonds up and down my chain. It was scary watching Biggie compete. It was actually so nerve wracking watching Biggie skate. Are you nervous for Biggie? Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous for him. I just hoped that Biggie would be happy with what place he got. Mark Biggie now. Biggie, no Go Biggie! Oh my gosh, Biggie must be feeling wow, so nervous. Oh my gosh, I feel so nervous for him. Please don't blow it. Go Biggie! Yeah! Yeah Biggie! Good job. Just before my last turn, Sabre said I should try a trick that I never really landed before. It was backside grind from the shallow into the deep. Try to do the grind the shallow to the deep, Biggie. Biggie, if you land it, I'm getting out of here and I'm gonna pick you up. But don't feel like pressure, okay? If you wanna bail, just bail. And I thought, why not? Next in order from Bar Beach, Newcastle. And I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a go. Come on, Biggie! Yes! Yes! You did it, Biggie! I couldn't believe I landed it. And I could hear all my sisters going like, Yeah, Biggie! Yes! Oh my god! Yeah, Biggie! I was so proud when Biggie landed it. You did it! How do you feel? <laughs> and I feel like, I felt like I was a man. Never knew I was gonna like land that. I just went for it, and all my sisters cheering me on was the best because I they gave like I wouldn't have won without them. He was the best thing I've ever seen. And if you're watching this, Biggie, I am so proud of Biggie. Like he had never land the um, backside grind into the deep, and I said if you land it, I'm gonna pick you up. And I didn't end up picking him up, but I'm going to pick him up now. But I'm going to pick him up now. Sorry. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Uh, After Biggie finished competing, it was mine, Sabre's and Socky's turn. And I was excited. I didn't feel happy. Biggie filmed us. Don't look Who was the announcer? We got the dancing sock! We got Sabre in the purple helmet! But we got Naz Morris in the tutu! My favourite part was when I was skating and Biggie said I look screamed out, I look so cute. You're looking so cute! Nazzy's looking very cute. Biggie. This is Nazzy's first come, how are you feeling? Scared. Are you gonna shred? Just before I dropped in, I started thinking about my brain and my spinal cord in the Olympics and I felt like I was going to cry, but then I heard Biggie cheering for me and Biggie, Biggie was just going nuts. Sabre's ripping, she's been practicing so hard. We got Sabre Norris in the Sabre! Bar. It really did just take all my worries away and it just made me skate with a clear head and I wasn't worrying about things that were happening. I was just worrying about getting the spot in Ballarama. Sabre was the Australian world champion and for that reason, Sabre is an incredible Australian skateboarder and surfer. Demonstration of skill skateboarding. Yeah, Sabre. Here you go, Socky, dropping in. All right, guys, so 
the shallow! Yes, sir! Rip it! Getting that 50-50 this time, ah, yes, Ogie! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Rip it that was his You do it! and the final finish and we all just crossed our fingers to wait for the results because we were hoping for the best. I was, uh, I had butterflies in my yeah. stomach, my legs felt like jelly, I felt like I was just going to crumble to the ground but they all helped me, they cheered for me, my brothers and sisters and I think I did okay. I couldn't have done it without Big. he was like the full on cameraman. I felt really bad for Naz because she was trying this trick in a run that she's never landed before and she kept slipping off each time. And I'm sad. Oh, no. I really wanted to land that. It was really sad. I should have practiced there. I practiced. Hi, Dylan. Front side 316. So I felt bad for her. I think we all did. We all like tried to cheer her up. I really wanted to land that. Oh, Naz did so good. Oh, that was so cool, Naz. And with a little tutu, just like me the view. So the results were Biggie Norris in third place. Biggie Norris, yeah, Biggie. Nazi Norris in fourth place. Naz Norris. Socky Norris in second place. Socky Norris. And Simon Norris taking the win in first place prize. In first place, our dominator today. Great Australian skateboarding. Put your hands together for Saber Norris. I felt very proud of Saber because Dr. Turner all this bad stuff. But she still went out there. She won and now she's in Ballarama. Because Socky got second and I got first, it means we both qualified for Ballarama. And we get to be in it together, not just me alone. Second, you're in the proper competition. Wait, she's like, made it into a professional competition now. I cannot believe I did this. It's Socky, how do you feel that Sabe got first? Well, that's what I wanted. I didn't want to come first. I wanted to save the competition and I came oh. second. So I'm not just saying this for the camera, but I really, really cannot believe that Socky made it too because then it's not just me. We're in it together. I couldn't believe I got second because it's normally Sabre. Yeah, she makes that, she makes this, and I normally just, you know, miss out. I came third! Did yeah, I? You came fourth, honey. Oh. I didn't even came last. That was my first comp, and I got fourth. I know I've said that a hundred times, but I just want you guys to know because I'm very proud that I did. Now she's crying because she wanted to get a better result, even though she got four. Hey, so like, that's you, really good. So she's really weird. I got third. Yeah, so the other girl was 18. Yeah. You got third. Yeah, you did amazing. You don't need to worry about that. You can have my trophy. Uh, <laughs> here you go. It's yours. Uh, are you sure? It's just a trophy. That's okay. You're so kind as a sister. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll take it from you. That's okay. You can have it. So the comp's finished and I'm really happy with how we went. Yeah, I, I've, I've learned a lot about myself this week. I think what I need to do now is just accept my medical results. I can't change it. Yes, yeah, so I will have a disadvantage, but that, that just means that I have to practice harder. I need to put more hours in than anyone else. I need to show more heart. I just have to be braver. I just need to make no excuses. I think if I can do all that, I can make the Olympics. I can make my goal and I can live my dream. And if I'm not willing to do this, then there's no chance of me making the Olympics. That's just being real. I, that's just how it is. It's not gonna change. So I've got no other choice, but I'm just going to accept what's happened and I'm just gonna go for it. So I need to have two more MRI scans to see if I need an operation on my brain or my spine. And those MRIs are in a couple of weeks. Who knows how they're gonna go. Hopefully I've, hopefully I've been a nice person so then I get some good karma. Thank you so much Legends for listening. I don't know why I felt like I should have been ashamed of what's happening and not tell you guys. But I feel so much better just getting it off my chest. Now, let's get everyone back in to do the show. So remember, if you want to get the shout out, turn on the notification bell, hashtag legends, and comment down below. Then we'll shout you out next week. So this week's comment, Maddie loves the nice nut. Hi, Maddie. Her comment was so nice. So let's read it out. She hashtag legends. That's what you gotta do. I love you so much. 
You are all so cute and so caring because you care about everyone. Let's get real with 2-5 fair bit. Because we're not perfect. No legend is perfect. And that's what's good about us. Sailor equals so creative and caring. Socky equals pretty and lovely. <laughs> Legends, the weird things about Socky is that she doesn't think she's pretty. But she's so pretty. Well, thank you guys for calling me pretty, but but I don't think I'm pretty at all. <laughs> Biggie equals strong. Yes! Ray and and handsome. <laughs> Nazo! Cute, adorable, and Precious. Precious? What's precious Ooh. mean? I don't know. Mm, fragile. What's fragile mean? <laughs> fragile means very delicate. Yes. What's delicate right. mean? The last thing she says, love you guys. Ah! We, we love, love you. you. Thank you so much Legends for watching this video. I think this video is probably the most heartfelt videos we've ever done. Yeah, I, I really hope I didn't bore you. See?